Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohammed Ali and uh, in this video tutorial we will work on the group chat. As you know that in the previous video tutorial we have completed this group. So now if a user click on any group that is let's say Coding Cafe, then it will go inside that group and now here it will uh, you can see the group name and now we have to allow a users different user to exchange messages with each other so yeah let's do that so now uh, we will work on our group chat activity and here on our group chat activity first of all uh, as you know that we have to uh, get the current user name okay so for the current user name we need a uh, user ID to get the uh, unique user ID so for that what we gonna do we can create here two variables and this will be the first one will be the current user ID and the second one will be the current username so now to get the uh, current user ID as you know that we will be needing the firebase auth so here we can simply say private Firebase auth mauth and now the next thing is here inside our on create method we can say m auth equals to firebase auth dot get instance and now by using this m auth we can say current user id equals to m auth dot get current user dot get uid so in this way we get the id and now with the help of this id we can retrieve the uh, username from the users node in the firebase database here you can see that these are the unique user ids so by using the, their ids we can retrieve the name status and uid of a i mean any profile information of a user so how we can do that first of all uh, after after this initialize fields method we can create here another method that is get user info which is information okay so let's create this method and this is the method let's cut this from here and here at the bottom we will paste it it will also work above but I need I like some I mean I like the things in proper design and structure so that's why but it is totally up to you whatever you like so here we need to create a reference to our database node which is the users node okay so we have to create the link up to here by using the database reference so let's create a database reference so after this we can say private database reference and let's call this as users reference and now after this current user id we can say user ref equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and the child you know is our users node and now if we come down here then here by using this users ref which is up to the users node so you can say add value event listener new value event listener and make sure to put a semicolon here and now inside our own data change method we can simply first check if the user's uh, id exists or not okay so instead of uh, user ref dot add we can directly check for that user as you know that we have retrieved the current user id now we have the current user id so you can say user ref dot child current user id and the current user id you know that it is the id of the user who is now online and who want to send message to someone okay so now what we gonna do here we can simply check that if this user exists then we can proceed so we can say if data snapshot dot exist so if this exists then we will uh, simply retrieve the current username so we can say current username equals to data snapshot dot child and the child name you know is the name field uh, name key of the name okay which is this one name okay so make sure to use the same name if if you do not use it then your app will crash get value dot to string a semicolon and now the next thing is that is if a user click on this send message button 
then we should uh, get the message input from here and first we have to validate either the user has entered something or not then we will save it inside the firebase database i mean the message information so let's do that so as you know that we have our send message button and we have already cast it inside our initialized field method okay all these fields of our uh, chat activity which is group chat activity so and we call that initialized fields method here okay so what we're going to do after this get user info here we can say send message button dot set on click listener sorry for that new on click listener so if a user click on that button then what we gonna do so we can call a method here which we will create now so let's name this as send message info to database or you can call it same save message to database whatever you may call it uh, so this is the name of our method and we call that method here and now let's create that method in our group chat activity so this is the method cut this from here and now let's paste it here down below and now inside this method we can get the text from that input field so we will store it inside here okay and we can say input what is the name of our field i mean that a text user message input so we can get the text from there so we can say user message input dot get text dot to string and now we have to validate this so you can say text utils dot is empty and we can pass that message here so if the message is empty, if the message string type variable is empty, it means that the user has not input uh, something. So we can tell the user first that is please write message first. And if this is okay, I mean if the user write, then we will save it inside the Firebase database. So it will have a uh, some childs I mean some keys and childs uh, that is the name message that and time so let's first get the time I mean the current time that is uh, what is the time when a user will send a message okay so we will get that time first so you can say calendar let's call this as cal for date so first we can get the current date now let's define the format for getting the date so you can simply write simple date format and we can call this as current date format equals to new simple date format put two quotations and here we define the pattern uh, for the date that how we want the date so we want the month name in english alphabets that is the first three that is for january j and and for uh, december we can say dec so to get the month we can simply write capital 3 m space then we want the date so small d okay double d d comma and then we want the year so you can simply put four times small y okay small english alphabets which is this one so this is the format which we define and now we can uh, get the date so for that we need to define here a variable let's call this uh, let's give it a name as uh, current date and we will be needing another one for current time okay so yeah now come down here and here we can say current date equals to current date format which is this one dot format call for date dot get time so in this way we get the date and we store it inside this current date variable 
which is of string data type because we have to convert it to string in order to save it inside the Firebase database and here you can see we got an error here because we do not initialize this call for that calendar type uh, you can say object or variable okay so make sure to write here equal sign okay call for that equals to calendar dot get instance now in order to get the time what we're gonna do we can simply copy this and let's press that here and now here we can say call for time and then current time format and yeah now remove this current date format to current the current time format and also remove this call for date to call for time and we need to store this inside the current time in order to get the time in 12 hours format with m and pm for that we use uh, to get the time we use small uh, h double h colon so this small english alphabet which is double h this will get the horse and then we need to get the time so for that we write double m small english alphabet so there double m and it will get the minutes and if you want the seconds then you can simply put here uh, the ss which will get the seconds but we want just the minutes and a horse so alongside with that we need the am and pm so for that you can simply write a and it will get the am and pm of the current time okay so in this way we can get the time in uh, 12 hours format with am and pm now we need to save it inside the uh, firebase database alongside with the other message information so for that we will be needing a hash map so we can say hash map and here we can say string comma object first uh, let's create a reference to our firebase database now we will be needing that so here you can see this is the, our database reference comma let's create another one that will be our group name uh, reference so now here in our own create method after this user ref we can say group name ref equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and the child you know is our group node let's check the name it is groups okay so we can write here groups dot child and we have the group name which is stored inside this uh, current group name okay which we are retrieving basically for our uh, group from our previous fragment which is our group fragment in the previous tutorial we have done this okay so you can see it is the references here the database so you can simply cut this from here control x and make sure to move it above that so that it can first retrieve the group name from the previous uh, group fragment and then we can use this current group name here because we need to provide the reference here so here we can say current group name okay so make sure uh, to move this uh, current group name above from the reference or you can also uh, group name reference you can initialize it below this current group name i mean where we are basically getting the group name from our uh, previous fragment so it will first get the group name and then it will store it inside this current group name variable and then we can use it here as a reference okay so now this is basically a reference to any group on which we will click that is let's say if i uh, click on android developers then basically it will create a reference to that group okay that is the groups and then the group name uh, any of these will when a user will click on that so now what we gonna do let's now come down here and uh, here we can say group name ref dot update children and we can pass the group message key to it now by using the dot push method we have to get that key so what we gonna do here above uh, we can say string and let's call this as message key equals to group name ref dot push dot get key so it will basically create a key 
now this group name, uh, name ref what it will do that is it will basically uh, come here to the groups then that group name and after that uh, it will create a key by using that uh, dot push dot key method and once that create so this will be a unique key for each message okay when i run the app uh, when we will be testing this at the end of this video then you will understand it more clearly so it will basically get that key i mean this is basically a reference now to that key so here we can say after this to get that reference i mean up to that key so first uh, here uh, let's create another one and we can call this as group message key ref so it will it will be a reference to that key now so we need to get the reference to that message so we can say group name ref dot child and the message key so we are getting the reference to that message key and we are storing that inside our group uh, message key reference now we have to store by using this reference we can store the message data so what we're going to do here we can create another hash map message info map equals to new hash map and here we can say message info map dot put so the first one will be the username i mean which is by the name variable so we can say and it is stored inside the current username variable now let's go with this for the get time and message input three times okay so the second one is the message the third one which is by the name message and the third one is the date and restore inside the variable current date and then we have the time so we can set time and current time so now let's update the children i mean let's save the information so you can say group message key ref dot update children with the message information map and now come here first and here you can see when we say send message button dot set on click listener save message to info we are calling that method here and here we need to once the user send the message then we want to uh, empty that added text after sending the message so we can say user message input dot set text to none okay just like that and now let's run the app so you can see that our app is running now successfully and now let's check this so now i will go to the groups and now let's click on coding cafe group and now let's send message hello i am muhammad ali let's click on that and you can see here coding cafe if i expand this then you can see that unique key so about this i am talking okay that is group and then the message the group name and then that unique key and if i expand this then you can see the date august 7 uh, 27 uh, 2018 then the message then the name and then the time which is the current time 2:41 a.m you can see that from here also okay 2:41. and now the next thing is you can see that okay august 27 monday 2:41 a.m now let's send another one so i can say how are you all And now let's send this one and you can see another message with a unique key added here if I expand this then you can see 242 am is the time and this is the message and this is the username which is your words and you can send I mean messages like that so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will uh, retrieve the group messages here on um, uh, on our any group I mean let's say if I am now on inside the coding cafe group then uh, we will retrieve the coding cafe messages here and we will display it to the users who are chatting with each other so if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video see you guys in the next video and bye for now